Um, just very briefly, unlike... And, and by the way, ignore Scott Morrison's advice. He's gone. He's done his day. He wasn't well, he very funded successful. The What's his latest advice? Exactly. What's his, his, la oh, his latest advice was let's uh, let's liberals go after the teal seats. So oh. a, a broad mainstream party. No, 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 no. A no, broad Scotty. mainstream party would ignore the teals. No, That's what Scotty. a broad mainstream party would do. Yes, because you see. The Morrison model doesn't work, Rita. Well, no, it doesn't. That's why he lost the election, because he went from a coal-wielding conservative... When to he was this good? ..small L liberal. Yeah. Remember, yeah. he went and won the unwinnable <laughs> election, right. the climate change election of 2019. Yeah. He won that by, by giving the electorate a choice. Exactly. Well, he went to the last election in a election where the biggest issue was cost of living, and he embraced net zero. So the biggest argument they could have taken to that election is that we're going to give you cheap, reliable energy, the other mob are all focused on emissions, your bills are going to skyrocket. They couldn't do that because they were signed on to net and zero. Can I just say that, you know, on this whole idea of going after these teal seats, you know, trying to win back votes in what I like to call the Xanax belt is not <laughs> going to wind up doing anything for the Liberal Party. They need to keep doing what Peter Dutton has been doing, which is, you know, opposing the voice, exactly moving on opposed, nuclear energy. Opposed, opposed. They need to have good housing policies and they need to do something about immigration. Do that. Link nuclear to net zero zero and say that once we're nuclear, net zero becomes irrelevant anyway, so you don't even need to bother about it. 